Hello, I'm Sarah McPhee, and I'm professor in the Art History Department, and I'd like to talk to you today about the ways we use primary evidence in the field of art history. The piece of evidence I want to talk to you about is a map of Rome made in 1676 by a young etcher engraver named Giovanni Battista Falda. It shows the city in incredibly minute detail from a bird's eye perspective so that it's almost as if you're flying above the city and looking down at all of the buildings. And what he's done here is to engrave 12 plates with the uh, different sections of the city and unite them into this bird's eye view. And in the inscription in the upper right hand corner, as you can see up there inside that aureole of shields, the publisher of the map invites us to stroll the streets with our eyes. But he based this work, this highly synthetic image of the city of Rome, on over 300 prints that he made of individual buildings, churches, palaces, piazze. And he used those close studies of the city itself to knit together and understand in three dimensions his great map. So at dinner one evening with my architect husband, he suggested that I talk to architects um, whom he knows uh, about possibly rebuilding Falda's Rome using the map and prints. They developed a gaming platform to present unbuilt architectural projects to clients. And my husband thought that perhaps they could help me have that experience of strolling the streets of Falda's Rome. So Falda uses different kinds of line work in his prints. He uses a particular type of line work for images that are in sunlight and another type of parallel hatched lines for images that are in shadow. The specificity of the detail invites us to build the city in three dimensions. And what we've done in building virtual Rome is to take apart Falda's etchings line by line and clad three-dimensional objects for our virtual world in his etched lines, producing a black and white world with blue skies. So this is virtual Rome. We've just dropped in to the Piazza Navona. You could stroll the piazza from end to end. You could see the heights of buildings in the 17th century. You can take in the fountains and the way they play. Art historians, in a way, are like detectives. This has allowed me to descend into the archives to figure out particular details about a specific building in Falda's Rome and to ask new research questions. The great map of 1676 invites us to study the streets of Rome and understand its people and the society. The 300 prints that Falda produced give us the detail to understand individual buildings and structure. The gaming platform allows us to bring those two sets of information together to produce new evidence and create a way of understanding Rome in three dimensions, strolling her streets and visiting her piazzas, many of them now long gone, in a way that Giovanni Battista Falda would have heartily approved.